Richard Dick Malloy was born and raised in Louisville, Kentucky. As a young boy, he had many interests and always worked hard at being the best he could be. Whether it was academia or sports, Dick was always at the top of his class. One sport he shined in was football. As a student attending St. Xavier High School, scouts from the University of Tennessee witnessed his performance on the field and offered him a scholarship in 1940. It was in Knoxville that he excelled playing in three major college bowls, Sugar, Orange, and Rose Bowls. But his other interest, aviation, became a reality. Because of the civilian pilot training program, the government would provide the funds for his dream of learning to fly. While attending flying school, he enrolled in the ROTC program at college. In 1941, war broke out, and Dick was now an officer in the Army stationed in Jackson, Mississippi. After learning to fly various Army aircraft, including multi-engine, he became a flight instructor. Because of the war efforts in China, the Army found it very hard to keep the U.S. and Allied forces supplied with the basics. The Army established the ATC, Air Transport Command, a new division of the Air Corps responsible for transporting fuel, weapons, and basic supplies to various bases in China. Dick was asked to be part of this new command and was sent to northeastern India along the Burma border. He was the pilot in command of a C-46 commando transporting supplies to China via the Brahmaptra Valley. Here the terrain raises quickly to 14,000 feet. As he progressed eastward, the tops of the range climbed to 16,000 feet and were known as flying the hump. Weather patterns would produce heavy cloudness, fierce rain and thunderstorms with severe turbulence. Instrument flying was not unusual. The knowledge and experience he gained made him a great pilot. Following the war, Dick returned to Louisville and his beautiful wife, Josephine. His passion for flying remained in his heart and he found work with Wade Flying Service. After a few months, Dick decided that he wanted to start his own company. He rented an old military barrack at Bowman Field and with one aircraft started the Kentucky Flying Service. His company was founded on service and honesty. He also opened a Cessna sales office and began selling aircraft. In the first couple of years after the war, the aviation business was tough as the economic conditions were just starting to improve. However, he was a man with a warm heart who was generous and would help folks purchase airplanes. As a flight instructor, Dick was known as a mentor to his students. Soon his reputation was known throughout the Commonwealth and surrounding states. He would take young students and train them as if he was their father, instilling confidence and trust in them. His love for family and people shined through his career. His wife of 65 years, Josephine, stood by and supported him from the beginning. Dick's family includes daughters Marguerite Malloy, Nancy McClellan, his son Richard C. Malloy III, and his two grandsons, Richard C. Malloy IV and Hunter A. Malloy. Dick had the reputation as one of the best flight instructors and line check airmen on the East Coast. He trained more pilots than anyone else in this part of the country. His students would speak about him as being a father figure and a talented, unique individual. Former students would also speak highly of him. William Hayes of Louisville tells the story. When the son of one of his former students showed an interest in aviation, Dick had him do small chores around the facility, keeping a log and giving him credit towards flight instruction and aircraft rentals. He suggested that he wait until his 15th and a half birthday before taking flying lessons. He had already gained a lot of flight time with his dad and he had a basic understanding of instrument flight and took Dick's advice. He still remembers the day he turned 16 in 1963. Dick told him to make sure he came to work on his birthday. He showed up after school and Dick had him take them up for a flight around the pattern and then land to drop him off. He sent him out on his first solo. When he returned, Dick had arranged for a reporter from the Courier Journal waiting to take pictures of him in the Cessna 150 and to interview him for a story about his solo flight on his birthday. This person continued with his aviation career, retiring after 26 years as a Coast Guard pilot. In 1987, Dick Malloy sold Kentucky Flying Service and in 1992 sold Helicopters, Inc., completing 47 years of operations at Bowman Field. It is therefore fitting that Richard Dick Malloy, whose business skills, knowledge, honesty, ability to inspire, and love for people and aviation be enshrined into the official Aviation Hall of Fame of the Commonwealth of Kentucky.